William Hill sponsors Joshua vs. Takam on Sky Sports Box Office. Famous boxer all over the world. Get there, kids. 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 Packed here, isn't it? It's absolutely packed. So Anthony Joshua boxed here two years ago in his fourth professional fight. Uh, Dorian, Dorian Darch. Yeah, Dorian Darch wasn't in full. Now this is the weigh-in. Now I'll, I'll keep saying it. I didn't even get these people, this amount of people here for my fights. Never mind the weight. So it just shows how, uh, how things have changed. Anthony Joshua in a position that he can go anywhere in the country. Yeah. And this could be the situation here. Like, well, well you, you look know. at the opponent. You look at the opponent, the, the opponent's changed. Still, 78,000 tickets have been sold for Saturday night. You know, 78,000. So, so, and that was the opponent Shane's Rob. There's not in reach. So it says people have come to watch Anthony Joshua. You know, they just want to see the Anthony Joshua show. I don't think they actually were that 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 knowledgeable on on Kurat uh, Pulev. If you're not a boxing man, uh, so I wouldn't change it to to Takan. Yes, they'll they'll be the odd question, but they want to see Anthony Joshua do his job. Is he currently the, the best heavyweight on the planet? Yeah, yes. As yeah. far as I'm concerned, he is. Because you used to say it was Fury. Uh, yeah, I did. But Fury's not around anymore. Mm. Fury's not an active fighter. But you've got to look at Anthony Joshua. He's an all-rounder. And so it's like it's like when you talk about Ali, and believe me, I'm not comparing Ali to... Careful. To, to, yeah, yeah, I'm not comparing them. But what I'm saying is, Ali was, was, might not have been the best technical heavyweight in the world, but he, he was an all-rounder, which made him the best heavyweight in the world. Anthony Joshua is in, this, in, this situa in the same situation where publicly, look at him. Uh, we know over this side of the world, I'm quite sure they're well aware of more of a, uh, in America as well, I think a lot of the American media here as well. He's getting success, he's nowhere near the finished article, and look where he is as world champion. So, you're saying Fury aside, but yeah. Fury's back in the mix, is your opinion about that change? Well, we've not? got to see what Fury, Fury puts on the table when he gets back in the ring. You can't, you can't be out of the ring for so long. You said that you don't believe he'll box again. I don't, I really no. don't. And I, I actually like uh, Tyson Fury, I just think his motivation, I think, him to, to get himself in condition to fight again, even though his promises will be fighting three times next year, I hope that happens. But I personally, I, I don't see it happening. But I hope I'm wrong because I like what Fury brings to the table. It's because of him we're getting this. So you've got to, people have got to remember, like it or not, you've got to give Tyson Fury credit. I just think to myself, will we see it? I, I, I don't know. It's a shame if we don't, isn't it? It is a shame because, uh, because I think uh, Tyson Fury is, 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 is a great addition to the heavyweight scene. You, you, some of the things he said, some of the things he does, yes, he got us all talking, you either loved him or loathed him, but you knew who he was. Uh, Dylan White's in the same predicament. Dylan White is crude, he's rough, but you know what? You either love him or love him. People are cheering for him here. You know, he, he, he's happy to play the villain when, he, when it comes to Anthony Joshua. And I think uh, uh, Tyson Fury had that same attitude, the same insight. He was smart with it. All right, okay. Well, I was right what I said yesterday, wasn't I? What was you right? We had a bit of backlash, didn't we? Look I, don't, at you. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> and you got some stick. I didn't know that shit. I'm not showing you cojones. No, I'm just... Cojones! Listen, what, what? Johnny, I, I don't blame you if you do the What's old... Up, uh, What's up, man? You got me. Right, you do the old fence I don't. I'm not going to blame you. That's I not fence-sitting. I know it wasn't yesterday. That's why it was great to interview you yesterday. Oh, you were fence-sitting? Yeah. And i tell you why. At least I'm, I'm man enough to admit I was <laughs> fence-sitting. <laughs> this is where I'm a real man. I admit I was there, uh, splinters up in the air. <laughs> uh, but but uh, you know what I've got to say to, to the people watching it, I just, you've got to understand, I'm a fan of Amir's. You know, I like everything about Amir's, uh, his attitude, his to, when he's in the ring, when he fights, his commitment and everything. I just don't like this side of it. So don't, don't, don't be a hater. Don't be, they, don't be the they say it people. Don't be a hater. What I'm saying is, I'm saying what most people think. It's what I think. It's what most people think. I'm just saying that. You know, don't don't take it personal. It's not a personal attack on him here. It's my opinion of the bullshit that he's coming out with. Okay. Before you upset anyone else on IFL TV. Upset them, yes. <laughs>
<laughs> Johnny Nelson, thanks for coming to IFL TV. Have a good day, bruv. You too, bruv. Bruv, Giza. Bruv. Freeze freezer. Bruv, bruv. My, my mate's here. Rudy May. Hey, Rudy brother. May, my good old friend. We boss each other. It was horrible, but he was a, he was he was a, the worst guy. He was my <laughs> sparring partner, and he used to beat the shit out of me in sparring. <laughs> And I hate it, and then, then he said we had to fight. I thought, yeah. I it wasn't enough for a fight. Yeah, no, no, it wasn't right. It wasn't right. No. I had to phone, he phoned me up and said, Johnny, listen. Is got, that really we, true? We spoke to each other all the time. He said, Johnny, listen. I'm going to have to fight. He went, no. Is that, he said, yeah, we can't talk to each other for a while. I thought, oh, come on, Rudy, man. That's it. That was the hardest fight I had as a professional. I had to fight the mate. And now he's here. He's the German version of me. <laughs> He's my black brother. That's right. <laughs> That's how we roll, man. He, he was one of the few that took care of me when I was in Germany. You've dropped one of your uh, 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 dirty club cards. Let me just show, show you what you dropped. <laughs> so is that some strip club or something? That's just falling out of your pocket. VIP strip club. What? Oh, I could be bad. I know yeah. what that is. Whoever stays here knows what this is. You know what that is. I don't know what that is. It's his VIP card for a naughty strip club. I'm so proud of you. All right, no problem, Johnny. Thank you very much.